And I want to remind you that like hard times don't last. And I know sometimes it feels like the storm never ends. I know sometimes it feels like our breakthrough is never going to come. I know it feels like that at times. And trust me, you know, the last three years of my life, I felt like that. Like, man, when is this storm going to end? It's like every time a ray of sunshine shows its face, I'm hit with another storm. Every time I get my head above water, it's like another flood hits my life. Every time I feel like I'm getting ahead, it feels like I get knocked back down. And I don't know if any of you can relate to that. You know, just drop a heart if you can relate to that. But I always hold on to this truth that no storm lasts forever. I always hold on to this truth that joy will always come in the morning, right? It doesn't mean that joy is going to come the next day. It doesn't mean that joy is going to come when you want it to come. But joy is going to come. And I think joy is a perspective shift. I think joy is not lean on your own understanding and trusting that God has a plan for your life that's greater than any pain that's coming in your life. And I'm going to say that again. God has a plan for your life, my friend. God has a plan for your life. And I know sometimes when our plans don't go right, we forget that God has a plan for our life. I know when it seems like every idea you have, everything you try to do, it's met with failure. But you got to remember during those times that God has a plan for your life that's greater than any pain that you're currently experiencing in your life. One of my favorite quotes that I hold on to, and I want to tell you this right now, your current situation is not your final destination. You are getting through everything you're going through. And I just want you to give yourself some credit right now. Like you are literally getting through everything you're going through. You might be getting through it by crying. You might be getting through it by depression. You might be getting through it by barely making it, barely making ends meet. You might be getting through it by wiping tears off your face before you go into the job and putting a smile on your face because nobody, you don't want nobody to see what you're going through. You might be barely getting through it before you walk in the house to see your family. You're bawling your eyes out. You're screaming to God, why? But you walk in there with a smile on your face. And I want to tell you, number one, it's okay not to be okay, but it's not okay to stay that way. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to go through things. As a human being, I'm telling you this with myself, millions of followers, I go through things every single day. And that's where these messages come from. But I want to remind you that you're getting through the things you're going through. You're getting through it. And I know sometimes we want it to be faster. I know sometimes we want it to be a little bit easier. I know sometimes we want it to be not as hard, but you got to understand something, man. I always lean on this understanding that God is preparing me for something greater, that the preparation that I'm in might suck. The preparation that I'm in might not feel good, but maybe I'll understand once I reach the destination that he is leading me to. God is working something for your life that's greater than anything that you're going through. And I want to remind you again, give yourself some credit. You are getting through everything that you're going through. Be proud of yourself. And I know it might not look like you know, sunshine and rainbows. I know it might not look like what other people look like. I know it, I know it might not look like what you're comparing your life to, but you are getting through everything you're going through and everything you're going through. Don't get it twisted. It's major. Some of you are dealing with so freaking much that doesn't show on the outside, but in the inside, you're dealing with things. I want to say I'm proud of you for getting through the things that nobody sees. I want to say I'm proud of you for breaking through the things that nobody understands you're dealing with. I want to say I'm proud of you for getting through the things that nobody understands. Nobody really understands how it feels to be you. Nobody understands how it feels to deal with what you deal with. Because we all have struggles. That's what makes us connected in this human experience. But how we deal with our struggles, our perspective to our struggles, it's all different. And I want to say, give yourself some credit. You are getting through everything that you're going through. And have peace in knowing that God got you. Have peace in knowing that things will change. Have peace in knowing that hard times don't last forever. Have peace in knowing that your storm will end and better days will begin. Have peace in knowing that a new beginning is right, right around the corner. Have peace in knowing that, a, that, that your healing is a prayer away. Have peace in knowing that your breakthrough is coming, that your breakthrough is near. Have peace in knowing that right now you are actually breaking through. Because you're not giving up. And I just want to say, I'm freaking proud of you, man. 
I'm proud of you. I know your family might understand. I know your friends might understand. Like, man, what's wrong with him? What's wrong with her? Just you should be able to get through this. And they're putting their perspective on you. And I know they care about you. I've been guilty of that with people that I love, putting my perspective on them. But I don't understand how it feels to be them. I don't know the demons that they, they, they battle. I don't know the struggles, the strongholds that they're trying to break free from. Right? We all got strongholds on our soul. And I pray that every stronghold is broken, every chain. Hmm. Every chain breaks in your life. Every chain that's chaining you to pain, every chain that's chaining you to depression, every chain that's training you to feeling like you're less, every chain that's making you feel like you're not enough. I pray every chain breaks. I pray every bridge that is leading your life back to less. I pray that every bridge that's leading your life back to mess. I believe I, I pray that every bridge that's leading your life back to stress is burned. It's burned today. And I pray that you're chained to God's goodness now. I pray that you're chained to your best life. I pray that you're chained to knowing you're enough. Even when you go through times when you feel like you're not enough, you still know you're enough because you were credited enough, my friend. I'm freaking proud of you. And I want to tell, I don't know you, but I'm proud of you because I understand as a human how hard this life can get. I understand as a human how much pressure it is from these external things, from life, from people. And it puts so much pressure on your internal soul. But I want to remind you, the greatest gift that you can give yourself is peace. The greatest gift that you can give yourself is trust. Trusting in God despite the odds. Trusting in God despite what you're going through. Trusting in God because you know he got you. Don't lose that peace in your soul, man. And I know these things, these people, these situations try to take your peace, try to make you lose your peace. But I always say this, peace is the greatest gift that we've been given, the greatest gift that we can give ourselves, the greatest gift that's been given by God. And when we keep our peace in our life, no matter what's going on outside of our life, we will not lose ourselves because we know even if we can't see it, even if we can't understand it, we know that our change is going to come. We know the breakthrough is going to come. We know God's promises that he's given to our life will be fulfilled. They will not come back null and void. We know that it will happen. And that's the peace that I want you to hold on to. That's the peace that I want you to hold on to. I'm proud of you, man. And I know you might not hear that often. I know the people around you might not tell you that. I know the people that you love might not share those words with you. But I want to say I'm freaking proud of you. And I do believe that there's better days for your life. I do believe change is coming. I do believe your breakthrough is near. I do believe you're breaking through right now. You are getting through everything that you're going through. And I know for some of you, that might not seem like an accomplishment. I know for some of you like Trent, I ain't trying to go through anything that I'm going through right now. But you are getting through it. You are stronger than what you think. You're more powerful than what you give yourself credit for. And I know you're barely keeping your head above water. I know. I know sometimes it feels like you're drowning in your depression. You're drowning in your uncertainty. You're drowning in your grief. I know. But just when you think you have to do it by yourself, just know that God is your greatest life jacket. And God will always keep you afloat. And I pray and I hope and I wish that you grab a hold to the greatest lifeguard in life. And that's God. Christ got you. Even when people turn their back on you, Christ got you. Even when people don't understand why you're still dealing with what you're dealing with, they tell you to get over it, God got you. And you just keep on swimming, man. And even when you can't swim, just know God's going to keep you afloat. And I know how it feels to be in those deep, dark waters. I know how it feels you're like swimming and you feel like you're in a rip current that you're going nowhere. I know how it feels where another wave hits your life and you feel like you can't breathe. Let God be your breath. 
Never doubt the plan that he has for you. And I know so many times in this life, and I'll leave you with this because I've been here before, is like when things aren't adding up, ain't mathing up to what we want it to be, when it seems like, nah, this can't be the plan, this can't be the way. And sometimes we we mess up God's plan because we put our own plan in place. But I want to tell you right now, man, that he hasn't forsaken you. He hasn't given up on you. You know, we've been carrying those burdens that we aren't meant to carry. We've been carrying those <laughs> those problems that we aren't meant to carry. He says, cash your burdens upon me. And what if you just did that today? What if you just said these words that I say so often in my life? Here you go, God. Here you go. This struggle. Here you go. This heartache, this pain. Here you go. This grief. Here you go, God. You know, I'm tired of carrying this. I'm tired of trying to figure it out on my own. I'm tired of trying to, I'm tired of trying to create a, a way out of no way. Here you go. And I get emotional because I know there's so many of you watching me right now. And I know you feel me. And I know this is going to be a breakthrough for somebody. That's why I get emotional with this. This is, you know. You're holding on to so much. You're trying to change so much. You're trying to get that person to change. You're trying to get that person to believe in you. You're trying to get these people to understand. You're trying to just survive. And you're trying to do it on yourself. You're trying to swim in this troubled water when it's not meant for you to swim in. It's just meant for you to trust and not give up because God got you. God is that tugboat that's pulling you through. Here you go, God. Take these worries Take this anxiety. I'm tired of trying to figure it out on my own. I'm trying to try to do this by myself. I'm trying to trying to change all these things. Here you go, God. Some of you on this live, man. That's all you need to say. Release it. Because what you don't release will increase. And it will steal your peace. I know some of you are fighting for people that don't want to fight for themselves. And it's breaking your heart. And you're trying to fix them and heal them. It's not your job. Here you go, God. Release so you can receive. Release the burden. So you can receive peace. Release the worry. So you can receive peace. Release the stress. Release the grief. So you can receive peace. Here you go, God. Shores. Like I tell you at the end of every single message, y'all. It all starts with you. Starts with you making a choice today to give it to God. These hard times don't last. Sometimes the storm lasts because we keep ourselves in the storm. We follow the black cloud around when the black cloud is just supposed to pass over and grow something in our life. Grow our faith, grow our trust. But we just keep following that black cloud around. When the storm is just supposed to pass through and grow something inside of you called faith. Because without the storms, we wouldn't have the growth. Without the storms, we wouldn't have the harvest. The harvest is coming. Hmm.